Hello, I'm Eddie Jones. We're out doing a bit of pest control in Staffordshire again. Today I've got the brand new Air Arms S510 TDR. I've been out with this a couple of times since I've had it, but I've done nothing serious with it yet. Today I want to have another session just to get the feel of the rifle a bit more before I go proper serious shooting with it. From the 410, the 510's got the side lever, which is my favourite action on the Air Arms range. I've coupled that up with a Hawk Vantage 3x12x44. It's a nice light scope and it couples up with the TDR very nicely, keeping it nice and light, which is what it's meant for. It is in 177 as usual, my favourite calibre as you know. So I've had about 50 shots out of this rifle in one session and I know it can go more. It states about 40 shots, so 50 shots I'm happy with and I know it can do more, but at the minute I'm really pleased with how this is performing. Really accurate this one. We're not doing any serious pest control today. We're just going to have a walk around with these woods again, see what there is in here. I've had quite a lot of squirrels and rabbits and pigeons out of this wood. I know the landowner has had to clear a wood with some of the damage caused through the summer. I've had to leave that part of the wood. Just let them strip it out and then I'll be back in again. But we've still got a fair bit of ground to cover. Hopefully we'll see a few. If we don't, I'm not too worried about it today. I'm just going to enjoy it and see what we get. Okay, so we just had a squirrel that's just ran across a tree into this conifer. It's gone in a dray. Now I know for 100% we've got no red squirrels around here and I could shoot in that dray to get them out, but I won't do it. For the simple fact, you never know. And you could injure the squirrel in there and that's not what we want. We want a clean kill. So please don't go shooting through drays just to scare a squirrel out. We'll leave this one for next time. Well, we've been walking for about an hour and actually seen nothing. We've had people walking through the wood where they shouldn't be, probably scared most things off. Come to one point, two nice plump grey squirrels, but they're in someone's garden. Now, I used to shoot that bit, but they've bought that bit of wood. So it's typical, we've seen nothing, but there's two just playing there, laughing at us probably, knowing we can't get them. And finally, we've got the first one of the afternoon. Um, as you can see, he was busy feeding. He didn't even know we were there, really. If you think I've taken the shot low there, it looks like I've misplaced my pellet. But if you look the other side, it's come out in the perfect place. Had I hit him here, if I'd have put it on there where normally, it would have just brushed his skull. Might have killed him, might have just brushed up and not killed him. If you're shooting up in trees on an angle, just think where your pellet's going to go through. You need to go through the brain, and that's come out perfect. So it might look like a bit low, but in reality I've hit him perfect. Hopefully there's some more. Look the wire. Did you hear it? Well you've probably seen me snooking right through this wood to that rabbit that was sitting out in the field. Only about 35 yards away. Looked through the fence, thought I had a nice clear shot through a big square like that. No, I hit the wire. That's real shooting for you. It's not that easy, is it? Well, we've come to the end of the afternoon again. Just the one squirrel to show for my efforts. The rabbit I missed, my error, I hit the wire. And I also missed a squirrel. It was a good eye squirrel. It weren't the gun's fault. The TDR has more than proved itself while I've been out on previous occasions as well. It was down to my error. I've missed two today. Maybe tomorrow I won't miss them. But that's shooting. I'm no expert and I'm no better than anyone else out there. I go out shooting and I miss. Just as well as I hit. TDR setups, perfect. Couldn't fault it. First time I've used the Vantage range and it's clear as a bell. 
can't fault it. You don't need a big 30 times scope. This is perfect for a lightweight hunting rifle like the TDR. I enjoyed shooting it today and I'm going to really enjoy this kind of shooting with the TDR. It's light. I've carried this all day on one arm and it's just faultless.